Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about NPX. If you are liking this series, consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel because I am continuing on bringing tutorial videos and blogs on this channel. With that, let's start with NPX. So NPX is a uh, NPM package runner, right? So you might be confused between NPM and NPX now. So NPM is a node package manager while npm is giving a exit executable package runner right so for example npx runs a package without installing it in your system it's it's a package runner right so going forward going forward from uh, version number 5.2.0 5.2.0 this particular version number what npm did is it brought npx with it for example if you're installing npm that comes with node if you're installing node it comes with node so it install N npm then npm install it is coming with npm now so npx is already installed in your system if you have npm now right if you are above 5.0.2 version of npm right so what it does the main goal of what is the main goal of npx so sometimes what will happen there will be certain command line tool which are not always required by you or there are some packages which are not always required by you that were required very very less often like you know once in month or once in two months for example let's consider example of create react app you might not require this tool often you might not be creating react app very quickly every day right so what you do is you use make the use of npx what npx does is bring this package to your system without installing it it you know executes it and then deletes the package right it make the use of it make the use of the code that is provided by the package dependency and npm package executes it to your system and boom it deletes it right so just imagine that npm install your package in the system then you consume that package npx just bring that package from the npm registry executes it and deletes it right let's just see example for example create react app you might not be creating react app every day as told right and most of the developers what they do they use npx to execute this create react app right so let's go down and see this is this is the particular function now they have updated a documentation as well to you know just execute this create react app and also what it does it brings the latest version of create react app it brings the latest version of npm as well just pick the latest version from npm and then run the script for example let's go ahead and run the script it might take some time but let's just check it out test it and run it so this npx what will do it will go to npm registry right and it will bring this package run this package execute this package and after that it delete this package right without installing it so let's just wait for some time and let's just see so it is extracting few of the things and hopefully it will soon create a react app as well yep yep so it have installed it uh, right now create react app and as you can see it is a creating re new react app that is function of this right and a new re react app will be present in my this app folder it is installing bunch of things that it requires this create react app uh, tells the uh, command line to install so let's let's wait for that as well okay it's completed and what we did was we ran this command npx create react app my app right then it brought the npm package from the npm registry to our system and it executed that command like this and it started creating a react app right whatever create react app does it installed everything and it just you know completed now and it gives a, a app that tells like that, that's a react app holy right but the important point to understand is we didn't have or had create react app dependency in our system it was brought by npx create react app and then we consume that and it is deleted from the system now right so this is the major purpose of npx uh, in 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 npm ecosystem and you can use it so for some packages which you don't need uh, every time or you know daily basis you can just use that npx to bring them execute for some time and just delete them like on the go right so this is what happens 
and that's it for this video till then uh take care i hope you have liked this series and if so consider subscribing and liking and sharing this playlist with someone you feel they could this series can could benefit them and i hope you have really liked this series i'll try to bring more of this kind of series and with that thank you so much if you have any doubt comment in the section i'll try to bring some advanced series as well if you want otherwise till then goodbye